So with summer coming up this season, a lot of us are already preparing on where to go or escape that hot weather. So joining us in the studio is Armand Benko. He is the executive director of the Colaico Foundation for Education to discuss with us wise spending on summer getaways. Good morning, Armand. Yes, good morning. Good morning. And uh, I'm happy to be back here at daybreak. Welcome back. Yes. <laughs> so we were, you know, we were just talking about this mm -hmm. summer. There's added expenses, mm -hmm. family vacations, and then also you have to consider mm -hmm. that you also have to save some money for tuition exactly. because it's coming yeah. up in June, right? right. Mm -hmm. So with all this, how do you think people can prepare or be better prepared for a possible summer getaway? Uh, just like any expenditure item or any expense in the household, um, we always encourage or push people to be a planned spender. Don't be an impulsive buyer. Uh, vacations or going on trips often are coming from impulsive uh, decisions. You see a you see an ad, hmm. one peso. Uh, the rates are rates, low. or uh, they would come up with very creative names on their promo for this week. Yeah, the whole but if you, but if you really notice, in 52 weeks they would have 52 promos. Uh, and 52 names for their promos um, for that airline. Um, so you can really plan ahead. Um, oftentimes, impulsive buying cause uh, uh, results to trouble because na discarrel na yung budget mo. Remember, in our budget, we have household expenses, transportation expenses, and that eats up a lot. More so if you bring your own uh, vehicle from parking to toll to Skyway mm -hmm. and uh, registration, maintenance, and all. And then there are living expenses. Plus, of course, uh, your savings and investments. So where does vacation or funding your vacation come in? Mm -hmm. uh, it's not part of your regular budget mm -hmm. unless you really go on a vacation every week, which is... Uh, mm -hmm. Kind of may malay somewhere, di ba? So you really plan for uh, or unless tambay ka forever, forever, forever nagbabakasyon ka. You don't plan for it anymore. But uh, yung getting into serious vacations from three days to five days to a week mm -hmm. of uh, vacation that should come from planned spending, mm -hmm. and it will obviously come from your savings or earnings from your investments. So as early as when should you start planning, let's say, a vacation for the summer? Uh, it should have been uh, at least the year before. Um, year. Because uh, one saving tip, uh, obviously, that everyone knows is you book early. You mm -hmm. book early for your plane fare, you book early for your, uh, for, for your transport. It means not necessarily you're, uh, you're uh, taking a plane. Um, you book early for your accommodations. Yeah. It need not be a five-star hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, case in point, I was in Boracay the last month, and uh, I was amazed of how people would spend on five-star accommodation in a beautiful place like Boracay, wherein you need to go out and not mm -hmm. stay inside. inside. Mm -hmm. So, parang mali yung pagplano or the prioritization of how you spend. Uh, probably in a place like Boracay, you just need a decent, decent uh, place, right. clean, safe. Mm -hmm. Uh, because you'll spend most of the time outside. Uh, so no need for uh, a five-star accommodation. Um, so how do you fund all this? Or how do you plan? First, uh, give, it, give real ample time. A year before, uh, others for uh, uh, big luxury vacations like European trip, three years, five years. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kolaiko, my principal, uh, planned his African safari trip, I think, five years. Mm -hmm. uh, five, years. five years before. And mm -hmm. talaga, kaya, enjoy to the hilt. <laughs> Hindi yung, just because Forward you saw it. you saw an ad, <laughs> uh, you get into, oh, into, the, into the spending binge right. of just getting a vacation. Right, right. Well, they do say na it's always best to somehow go on vacation at one point. Not naman every week and yeah. not every month, unless, of course, you can afford it, I guess. Mm -hmm. But is there like I know I asked this uh, I asked this earlier before we went on air. But is there a way, for example, to just set aside what's the wise um, percentage that you can set aside per month from your from your earnings? Right. Um, mm -hmm. From your income or earning, uh, obviously you have to save and invest. Um, our our uh, our takes Colaico Foundation when we teach people how to save, invest, and budget for their wants. Mm -hmm. Come up with funds, for example, mm -hmm. a vacation fund. Before, mm -hmm. what we used to do in the family, we would come up with a vacation envelope because uh -huh. this is what I saw from my parents. Mm -hmm. And life then was relatively easy compared to now mm -hmm. because of all the temptation of gadgets and, yeah. and malls all yeah. around. Noon, vacation envelope, 
they, we plan, we identify uh, what place to go to, what to do, where to go, what to do, uh, and then budget. Thanks to the internet, you can also somehow canvas how mm. much the the plane the fare, accommodation, mm -hmm. yung gimmick doon, all, that's, all that's the, the things. You can budget. Uh, and then mm -hmm. we would identify that amount and everyone contributes in the family. So and you have the amount first amount on how first. much you're possibly going to spend. And then you move, kumbaga you move, you start with that and then that's and how you everyone contributes it. actually yeah. in the family. Because mm -hmm. pinalano nga namin. Eh. Mm -hmm. uh, and everyone contributes in the vacation envelope. Once we hit the target in a hopefully in that specific type, we book, fly, and uh, go on that vacation. Mm -hmm. The problem with vacation envelope, for parents, pag uwi, makikita mo yung na-lose time mong pera. Mm -hmm. you get to, manghihinayang ka. It's almost equal to the tuition fee of one of the child. Yeah. Uh, you used up in three days, four days. Mm -hmm. And that hefty an amount. Mm -hmm. So, ang daming pagsisisi. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, the older ones would get to blame each other <laughs> how pangit the vacation was, yeah. how the airline oh. was, like a cof flying coffee. Lahat na nung pangit dun sa vacation <laughs> pag-uusapan yeah. mo. Maybe because at the back of your mind, right. nakokonsensya o nanghihinayang mm -hmm. or regretting yung amount na sinave. Mm -hmm. What's the other approach? Mm -hmm. A vacation fund. Mm -hmm. So, but but this is not easy. Uh, you may have to bite the bullet like not having a vacation for the next two or three years. Mm -hmm. uh, but build up a vacation fund. The earnings of that fund, that's the only amount you will use for that vacation. Mm -hmm. Meaning, for example, in, in three years' time, you were able to uh, uh, save 100,000. Okay. Save and invest. And uh, through that three years, the amount that came out from your pocket is 100,000. Yes. But through the three years that you have invested that, it has grown 30, 40%, and it has happened mm -hmm. in our current situation right now. Then you have an ex you have a gain of 30,000 to 40,000 mm -hmm. of expendable, you know, spendable amount. So you use the interest for your vacation and keep the principal. The earnings. The uh, earnings. There are two kinds of earnings, yeah. interest and gain. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, I'm talking of an instrument that would have a gain, not necessarily an interest. Okay. So you place or invest your vacation fund mm -hmm. in an instrument that can have good gains, significant gains, okay. uh, not necessarily interest, mm -hmm. uh, gain 30, 40, 50 percent in three years' time. What's right. that? Like what instrument? For uh, example? Mutual funds. Yeah, mutual okay. funds is uh, uh, an obvious instrument that can mm -hmm. provide that. And it has uh, provided. Mm -hmm. uh, mutual funds, five-year performance, I think, is uh, 100, 150 percent. Performance mm -hmm. bonds? Is that? No. Uh, uh, what's a performance? The performance meaning. Uh, ah, the performance, the performance of how in much five it years, earns. Yeah, ah. uh, how much it earns. But there's gained. also a possibility that it will not earn. Yes. yes. Uh -oh. So you don't get a vacation. Yes. <laughs> oh, now we will really pray and, you don't, and you don't pray. Pull out. Uh, what's <laughs> nice with a mutual earn. fund? You in you you put out money. Mm -hmm. You buy shares of that mutual fund. Mm -hmm. If the value has grown. You, you get the gain, oh, enjoy yeah. that vacation. Right. If there is no gain, like in 2008... You can mm. still get back the money that you invested. Mm. Uh, no, uh, you don't pull out it, anything. You don't pull out anything. Okay. For example, the past five, including 2008. Uh -huh. 2007, we were using already the vacation fund, so it grew a, a hefty 50 plus percent in one year. Mm -hmm. In mm -hmm. one year. So a grand vacation for the family. Uh -huh. Got lucky or prudent because prudent. I placed it in, mm -hmm. in an mm -hmm. instrument that for that specific purpose. Right. The following year, it was negative 40. Mm. So no vacation. No vacation. Mm. But I did not pull out the amount okay. there, mm -hmm. the amount we placed. Uh -huh. The following year, it just re it just recovered. Balance. So the same amount. Uh -huh. The fa 2010 performed well again. Okay. So another mm -hmm. vacation. So uh -huh. um, <laughs> that's the beauty of uh, having a clear purpose for your for saving or your investment yeah. fund. Yeah. And if this is a want item like mm -hmm. a vacation, mm -hmm. then you would not feel hindi ka magpanic pag mm. the market is down. Right. You will just discuss with the kids or the loved ones, uh, no, no vacation. No vacation for this for year. Now, okay. you know? <laughs> and uh, what's the common common excuse of parents kapag vacation? Lalo na summers are holy week, di ba? Yes. Would, would, would be the time na usually nagbabakasyon. Mm -hmm. Go around Metro Manila. Right. <laughs> Traffic less Metro Manila. That's true. I mean, it's um, the best time to be in Metro Manila during that week. Best time to be in Metro Manila. <laughs> I remember there was a time we were in Metro Manila, Holy Week. Imagine mm -hmm. from Cainta to Rojas Boulevard in 15, 20 minutes. Wow. And I wasn't like a speedster uh, mm -hmm. 
You were just cruising, cruising normal... 15 to 20 minutes, not not bad at all. Right? Go on day, day trips. Day trips, right? day yeah. trips. Yeah, so for those, let's say, who haven't saved up for yes. this summer to go on vacation or um, probably not looking into a big spending vacation, what would you advise? Maybe a weekend vacation or what would you advise for them for this summer? If they can um, afford the big last trips. Minute I'm, I'm not trying something. to be a Scrooge, but uh, <laughs> if, if you haven't really planned saved up uh, for this coming summer or uh, this uh, coming Holy Week or kung kailan man kayo nagbabakasyon mm. for this year, uh, set out and postpone for this year and plan for next year. Mm -hmm. I am sure there are uh, a lot of promos wherein uh, you fly now, you pay later. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. If you can afford and accept the additional cost for that vacation mm. and it will not uh, compromise your budget for the week, the month, and the uh, year. As you said, mm. after this summer vacation comes tuition fee time. Mm. Uh, come after tuition fee time, there is the lull months in all businesses. Yung sinasabi nilang ghost months of uh, July, August, August uh, yeah. before the bear months comes in. Yeah. So uh, those are things that you should consider. If you haven't prepared for 2014 uh, for a summer vacation, don't get a vacation. Mm -hmm. Plan plan well for it. Go on a walking tour in Metro Manila right. if you if you need to. Or if you have a little extra money, do some uh, what hotels offer here in Manila, staycation. Yes, yeah. yes I was just going to say, staycation. Uh, have you heard of weekend. that? Yes. Uh, hotels well, that, offer. That, that means that just staying at home. <laughs> staying at home that, or... That would work well yeah. for you, Amelie. <laughs> get a place, get a place different from... Para to get away, di ba? Yes. Uh, yun yung, uh, one, one thing that I want to stress, have in every mm. expense item or in everything we do, uh, identify what your purpose or objective is. Mm -hmm. Is the objective of a vacation bonding time with the family because you haven't, you've been working so hard mm -hmm. and you haven't spent time with the kids? Mm -hmm. Then it need not Bond be in a faraway else. place. Yeah. Yeah. It can be a good, long, Day stay, together, day together, <laughs> a park day or together. A, uh, you're stuck to each other. <laughs> or just just lock yourself up in one lock room. Yourself up, <laughs> play cards till the sun rises. You know, and get watch to know the kids. Movies watch movies, nalang. Watch movies that are uh, set in uh, Europe if that's where you want to go. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So identify your identify yeah. your purpose. Yeah. Is it uh, what, wanting to see a site? Check the internet first. <laughs> right. Kung, kung uh, looking at the images would be good enough for you, <laughs> um, check out the sites because sometimes. Uh, um, how ironic, we are in the place, but we don't know much about the place. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Like uh, Boracay, uh, do they know that uh, Aitas used to, uh, uh, to be in the place and, mm -hmm. they were, and it used to be inhabited? Mm -hmm. Imagine, mm -hmm. inhabited. Uh, ngayon, it's a whole barangay, a lot of barangays na yata nandun and mm -hmm. completely different. So, uh, mm -hmm. Know the reason why you're getting to a vacation. Do you want to know the place? Do you want to spend time? Mm -hmm. Or uh, you just want to do a selfie and collect all the selfie <laughs> shots in your Facebook? That's a good idea. Well, you know, hopefully we'll have a part two so we can talk more about, um, you know, places to go and, mm -hmm. uh, and so much more to talk about. But thank you so much for coming thank in today. Thank you very much. Arman, thanks again for coming in.